And we're back! It's Drew Safer's Idiocracy here. I'm Drew. Um, I'm sorry for my um, hiatus. Um, I've been kind of emotionally and mentally unwell. And um, since my relapse, I've just been reeling and not coping very well. But here I am, feeling better. So um, today's video is going to be kind of like a hodgepodge of all the things. First of all, I need to announce the winner of my 200 subscriber giveaway. So I just want to remind you again what was in here because it's been a while. I have this Yarn Arts Begonia um, sport weight um, in a kind of like a white, pinky, and red. And two different kinds of the, ah, uh, dang it. Let me fix this so it doesn't fall again. And two uh, packs of the Lamia Bamboo, also from Hobium. I have it in the yellow and in the gray. So I'm sorry it's, I've been slacking on getting this announcement out there. Um, Sorry, I'm eating pickles. Um, I should have done it even though I wasn't feeling well, but say la vie. Um, so without further ado, the winner of the giveaway is bum, bum, da, bum, Nancy Strand. Congratulations, Nancy. Um, uh, you were the first comment, or the first thing that came up when I did the random comment picker online. And so what I need you to do is email me your address. Now, as I've said before, I need to wait until I have money to mail out um, all the yarn that I need to send to people. Uh, when my stimulus check came in, it just went to so many other things. I just didn't have any money left over to uh, mail anything. So... It's going to have to wait until I get a job, but I have a good job lead, so hopefully um, that comes through. Um, but also today, I wanted to show off some yarns that I just got. Um, I got some Knit Crate and some stuff from Hobie. Um, one of the, well, first I'll show the one that um, I got because a very awesome subscriber, um, uh, sent me some money to my PayPal so I could purchase something. And with that, oh, um, oh, and her name is Jet Maria Johansson. I think I'm, I, I'm probably saying the first name wrong, um, but I've talked to her and I've thanked her. And what I got with that was this Cotton Kings. Um, 50% cotton, uh, 45%, oh, 55% cotton, 45% acrylic color bomb by Cotton Kings. And it's this pretty kind of rainbowy color. So I thought that that was really fun. I was very thankful to her for um, sending me that money. Um, and this was on sale at the time. So I got this, like it's normally, it's normally like $30, but I got it for 17 plus shipping made it 25. And she had sent me exactly 25, so it worked out. Now, um, I ordered something else from them. I actually ordered it before that, and it came after the color bomb. Also from Hobie. Sorry, I'm sure it's probably really gross that I'm eating these pickles, but I was just craving a snack. And I wanted to eat it before I go to my meeting, which is what I'm doing immediately after this. But the other thing that I got was also by Cotton Kings. It's called a Twirls Deluxe. It's 100% cotton. Um, 1,093 yards, which is what the other one is too by uh, the Color Bomb. And I got this color. It's kind of also a rainbowy color, but it's got a lot more blues in it than the other one does. The other one has purple. This is just blue, green, and orange and yellow. So I thought it was really cool. Um, 
Derek, the nitwit strong has it. So whenever I was over at his place last time, I was eyeing it and I was like, I gotta get one of those for myself. So that's what I got. And then from Knit Crate this month, um, they sent two hanks of this pretty perp, sparkly purple, and I believe it's sock yarn, um, because it's 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 10% stellina, which I guess is the sparkly stuff. It's sport weight, 300 yards, and you can wash it, lay flat to dry. So I'm pretty sure this is, this has to be for socks. Unless you, I'm sure you can make other things with things that have nylon in them. But when it said nylon, I was like, oh, this is probably sock yarn. Um, so I got two skeins, or two hanks of this, which I'm really loving the Knit Crate um, boxes. But it came in a bag this time instead of a box. Because I think it said in an email that doing the boxes takes a lot of time and they're short staffed in their warehouse because of COVID-19. So they did the bags because I guess it's faster to pack. So anyway, I also wanted to talk about what's been going on with me um, because I used that first time when I relapsed and after that I just fell into this deep dark hole that I couldn't pull myself out of. Um, I used a couple other times after that and it didn't, well, of course it didn't make anything better, it just made everything worse and it was just hard to pull myself back up onto the recovery train. But today I woke up and it was like all that just went away. I feel better. I am a lot more positive about recovery. Um, so it's been really good. So, ugh. all right, the pickles are gone. So you don't have to worry about watching me eat anymore. But it's just... Like, when I'm down, I'm down. I mean, I suffer from mental illness, as you guys know. Um, and so, when I'm down, it's just, I'm not in a good place. I just, I don't want to do anything. I won't shower for, like, four or five days. Um, it's really gross. Um, and especially with this um, social distancing and people being forced to stay home. Um, it's gotten, it was really bad. So the two together, I was just in a really bad headspace, and I knew I needed to make the video for the winter um, shortly after it happened, but I just, I didn't feel like being on camera. I didn't feel like trying to be a happy, positive person because I wasn't feeling that. So I'm sorry to everybody who's missed me. Um, I did a live stream with Derek the Nitwit Strong and, excuse me, and our friend Candace from our crochet group earlier. Ooh, excuse me again. And I've just, there were people who said that, said that they missed me and that they're happy, they were happy to see my face. So I hope you all feel the same that I'm back. Um, and I will do my best to not let, let this happen again in the future. If I'm not feeling well, I'll just make a short video saying today's a shitty day. And um, yeah, but. It was just really bad the last couple, the last three weeks, and I just wanted to kind of disappear. Like, um, not to scare anybody, but there were times I kind of felt suicidal, and I just, the thought of having to start over again in recovery just sucked, and I didn't want to have to do that. So, it, it was, like, there were some really dark times, but I'm no longer feeling that way. I'm good and, and happy, and feel like um, I'm on the right track again. So worry not, everybody. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm regretful, of course, uh, decisions I've made uh, about the first relapse and since then, but you can't change the past and you can't, uh, you can just learn from it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, 
hopefully I get a job sometime soon. I'm um, really missing um, having money. <laughs> Getting that stimulus check was awesome because I could pay bills, I could buy things that I wanted and, and everything. So it's just, I need to get on the right track all around. Because for me, there's like emotional wellness and then there's life wellness. And my life wellness hasn't been very good for a long time because I'm living at home with my parents. I don't have a job. I, you know, all like all this stuff. Like, I'm just, I'm not very active in life. And um, it's not been good emotionally and mentally. Um, so hopefully I'll get this job and things will get better. And um, it's... Oh, a spider. <sighs> oh, it's on the underside. Oh, sorry. Oh, go away. Ugh. Go away, spider. Sorry, I freaking hate spiders. Like, and it's a, it was even a tiny one. I just didn't want it to crawl on me. Oh, it's, it's crawling back up. No, you are not. Oh, it's a jumping spider. It just jumped from the deck to the leg of the table. All right, I don't like to kill things. Ah! Yeah! Oh, I just killed it with my thumb. That was so gross. Ew! Ugh! Ugh. There was one time when I was a kid, I accidentally killed a spider with my bare hand, and it was a huge spider. It was on the back of our couch, and every time I, I would go around the couch, because the couch, um, had, like, the, the back was, wasn't against the wall, and so every time I would spin, I guess it was, you come down the hallway, the couch was right here, or you come out, oh, sorry, I'll do it this way. The hallway came like this, you got into the living room, and here was the couch. And when I come around the corner, I'd always put my hand on the corner and jump and swing myself around the couch. And one time I put my hand down, jumped around, and I was like, what the heck did I put my hand in? I looked down, it was a dead squish spider. I flipped out <laughs> you know i hated spiders because of the movie arachnophobia the movie arachnophobia gave me arachnophobia and so when i killed it with my hand i was just it was beyond words how terrified i was how grossed out i was how um ooh, stuff is blowing around here because it's windy and it was just it was all around a bad experience um so the fact that i just squished that tiny little spider with my thumb Shows how much I've grown as a person since then. I mean, I still freaked out. You guys heard me. I was like, ew. But, um, yeah. I hate spiders. So, um, it's just, it's a thing <laughs> that I deal with every day. It's kind of like, oh, no, there was this one time I was driving down the interstate. And, um a spider came down from above my steering wheel and was starting to drop. I was shrieking, driving down the interstate, trying to swat at it and squish it into the windshield. And I was just, like, I was going like 70 miles per hour. And I was just like, I'm going to die because of a spider. And so, um, I just, you know, I was ridiculous. I swung at it. It fell down into where my feet were. So I just did this. Oops, I just put my feet down my, ah! hopefully hoping I would squish it um, so it wouldn't crawl up my leg or, you know, live in my car forever and get big and then kill me sometime whenever I got into my car because it was like payback, biatch. Um, but anyway, I, um, <coughs> I just hate spiders. And did I tell you guys about the spider? No, I'll tell you the story again in case you haven't heard it. One time, I let Luna out, and um, I was coming back inside, and I got all the way back to my room, and I was like, what did I get on my mustache? Because I could kind of see it. This one, my mustache was a little bit more full. A lot of a lot of the hairs have kind of fallen out um, from me mess like playing with it whenever I was high, and just overall like when you put wax in it it'll it tends to pull a couple hairs out 
here and there. So it's just, it's not as full as it used to be, but I could see it in my peripheral really well. And I was like, what the heck is this? And I grabbed it, pulled away, and in my hand was a spider. I flipped out, threw it across the room, and screamed. <laughs> um, it was also not a good experience. So um, those are all my major spider stories. There's been times I've flipped out, but like nothing bad happened. So it's not like I was driving or I squished it with my hand or it was on my face. <sighs> like that, that, that took the cake. It was on my face. And I put on my Facebook, uh, uh, I posted, made a post on my Facebook page. And I was like, you guys, my life is over. I just came in from outside and I thought I had food in my mustache. No, it was a freaking spider. And everybody just thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Some people were like, were like, oh, gross. But I mean, I'd say 70 to 80% of all the comments were like laughing about my misfortune, which that's okay. I don't mind being laughed at for my ridiculousness when it comes to spiders. But um, it was just, you know, you don't, you never expect a spider to be on your face without like your knowledge so what i think happened is it was starting to dangle down and i walked through that and then it crawled up it onto my mustache because i don't remember seeing anything hit my face like being my although it was like dark outside so who knows but um yeah no spiders i know spiders do a lot of good they they get rid of insects especially ones that are bad but ugh, i just uh, uh can't cannot cannot can't do it won't do it um but i just killed that one with my thumb so i mean making progress um and one time actually we had a spider that was out on our patio and it was huge um it had a black like well not a black but like black and brown body and its legs were like orangey yellow and it was big and it would make a, a web right outside our back door and i was fine because it was far away um but i i would leave our back light on this, this is when my parents were out of town i left our back light on so insects would come to the light and it would get food and i fed it like that for like a week and a half well, then my parents get home and my mom's like, ew, a spider. So she moved it out to the deck. And like a week later or a couple of days later, it was back, but it, it wouldn't stay near the light. So it was impossible to, to try to get insects to, it, to fly into its, excuse me, um, web. But I felt like I had a pet spider for a while and I felt really good about it that I was grown up enough to not go out there and kill it, which I, I hate killing spiders. I hate getting close to spiders. So it was far away. It was outside. It's, it always stayed on its web. It never like dangled down at you or anything. So it was, that was okay. Um, but anyway, I digress. I can't even remember what I was talking about before the spider. Um, I was probably just talking about my sad sap cell for the last couple of weeks. And that's, that's, you know, there's nothing to really say about any of that. So I hope the spider stories um, gave you a laugh and made you, um, um, I don't know, just made you happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if people laugh at my misfortune whenever it's something like that. Um, so yeah, hope you had a chuckle and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I have a meeting to get to and I'm still kind of hungry. So I'm going to go in and eat a snack and let this video upload. So, um, I will see you all later. Bye. Please like, share, and subscribe.